All right, watch fans. <clears throat> this is it. My last box. I'm looking around in my workshop, and I don't see any others. But I've got about seven or eight coming in the mail. Uh, but you won't see them for another couple weeks. So we'll go ahead and open this one up. Should be no shock or surprise that this one's an Ingersoll. But don't worry. Ingersoll is running out of watches for me to review. So I have a whole bunch of non-Ingersoll watches coming in the mail soon. So don't fret. But I think this one should be cool. If I remember correctly, this one is one of their more affordable ones, which is kind of nice because I like doing those. I think this one is one that while the MSRP is probably $400, I see these going for about 100 or less on Ebays and the internets. So we'll see. This might be a more reasonable review because more people will be interested in buying one of these. Love these boxes. If this is the first time you've ever seen one of my reviews or seen an Ingersoll being reviewed. Spectacular. Get this nice paper cover. Solid, real wood box. Uh, I buy gray market, so they always sit on the shelf, unfortunately. Gorgeous watch. Man, it's got some weight to it. You know what? Before... Before I go into anything else, let's just, let's weigh this first. Get that out of the way. We'll do metric for my international friends. 106.8 grams. So not bad. It's not bad. It's good. Got some good weight to it. Don't really know which one this is. I think it's like the oh the Grafton. Okay, let's see. Oh, this one's gonna be very pretty. I can already tell I'm gonna be a fan of this one. Oh, that is nice. Gosh, look at that. That is a gorgeous watch. Friends, family, colleagues, people, strangers. This is the Ingersoll Grafton. All right, before we go any further, let's watch this video.
All right. I hope you like that video as much as I always do. Um, gotta say, the music just really gets me going. Uh, before I get any further on this watch, and I'll go into that in a minute. See if you can figure out what's wrong. Uh, let's go into detail about some of the things that come with this. Silica gel, always a very exciting part of every watch box. Um, metal band that it goes on. The manual, very, very good manual. It literally covers every, um, it's got history of the brand. Uh, all the different watch versions that they sell. Um, all the different movements and in multiple different languages. And it also covers your warranty. Uh, Ingersoll, all watches as of 2016 offer a full lifetime warranty. So that is nothing to joke at. Um, that means that Ingersoll is serious about about their about their brand and their make. Uh, of course, when you buy gray market, you don't always get what you expect. Um, you also get this very nice um, paperweight. It is what it is. Uh, it's a solid pewter paperweight it's an authenticity card as they call it um, you can read that below you don't need me to read it for you um, overall very nice presentation uh, I really like Ingersoll's I, I can't complain at all I think they're fantastic and um, you know Wenger has always been my first love but um, Ingersoll is a very close second um, okay so first thing that you'll notice about this watch is that it's dead Yes, it's dead. And also, notice the day that it died on. I seem to, to run into watches that always die on the 13th. Look at this one. This is a really cool um, Pulsar Quartz, right? Friday the 13th. Seriously, I did not set it to that. I, I can't even change it uh, for whatever reason. Um, let me see if I can. I don't think I can. There we go. Oh, this thing's been dead forever. Okay, I need to rebuild this one. But nevertheless, yeah, it's 13th. I'm sure Friday also. Um, this large second hand is for the chronograph. And this one should be for... Oh, it's working. So what's going on? Strange. Oh, this is the 24-hour counter. Oh, you know what? Wild! I just learned something. There is no second hand for this. This is the uh, this is the chronograph, and then of course, when the large hand goes around, you know I should have done my homework first. See, this is what happens when you do an unboxing and you don't pay attention. <laughs> there is no perpetual second hand. Uh, still gorgeous watch. I mean, look at this. I, I love this design. This is the real deal. This is no joke, but it does not have a continuous second hand. Um, this is a twenty-four hour hand at the three o'clock location. And uh, I actually really like that. Of course, it's wrong. It thinks it's in the, the morning. It's not. It is um, It is actually in the afternoon. So let me set it. What time is it? Let's look at this other gorgeous Ingersoll. Okay, it is... Uh, yeah. 2.35. Okay. There we go. Yep, so that's 24-hour hand. And this is a 60-minute counter for the chronograph. The chronograph will... Uh, take around, and as it goes around, it will then begin to collect minutes down at that point. Um, but this is a gray market watch, so I half expect that when I pull this off that it's going to be cloudy. Typically what I do, so you probably don't notice it, and it's actually quite okay. Um, but often what I do is for all the watches I buy, uh, I open them up and I replace all the batteries. But... Um, the newer ones have been getting a lot better. I do that, I replace the batteries and I clean the crystals, but this one actually is in very good shape. It doesn't even seem to be slightly cloudy. So I'm, I'm, it must be a slightly newer one. I'm impressed. Um, very nice leather strap. This is a real leather strap. I don't know what kind of skin this is. This looks like some sort of a lizard, but I would guarantee that it's real. Um, Ingersoll does not screw around with uh, watch straps. They use only the highest quality watch straps, and, and I'm, I mean that seriously. They typically use uh, like Horween for their their um, cow leathers, and then for the other ones, they usually uh, they source them out to um, legitimate um, uh, resellers. So this this is probably 100% real. Um, this does not at all feel like plastic of any kind. So this is a real leather of some sort. 
uh, deployment clasp. Um, more and more I start to like these. This one's a deployment clasp. A lot of people don't show you how to use it. Don't really understand or really appreciate it. It's real simple. Right, very easy. You do this one first and then you put that one in there in the loop as you push down, done, right? Real simple, uh, very comfortable. I like it. That's what this one is as well. Um, let's see, what else can I talk about it? It has a, a brass, although I think it's just a brass finish, uh, but stainless steel. Well, you know, actually, this might actually be real. Yeah, this is real brass. Uh, it's engraved on the side and it is a stainless steel case. Uh, sells protective coating on it. Um, Xeon is the parent company, actually, for Ingersoll. It's a British company that is owned by... It's a British arm of a Hong Kong-based company. Um, it used to be American. Uh, still has great American tradition to it, and that is still how they advertise it. But uh, it spent the last 60, 70 years as a British company. So, But it has great American heritage to it. So, uh, start, pause, start... And this is the reset button. Uh, pretty pretty simple for the Ingersolls. Um, spectacular watch. Before we go into any more detail, let's do a quick look at the uh, the movement so we know what's in it. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace the battery in it since I'm gonna have it open. Thanks. The Ingersoll Grafton Chronograph uses the OS21 No Jewel Tuning Fork Quartz Movement by Citizen Miota. This is a high quality movement designed specifically to support a standard one hour chronograph with 24 hour subdial complication. Miyota is a Japanese movement manufacturer that is part of the Citizen Group of Companies. The Citizen Group's movement brand, which was launched in 1959, now produces some 100 million calibers per year in its various factories. Most of them are quartz calibers. The Citizens Group is highly integrated, since it is also a major player in the manufacture of machine tools and CNC's, which it supplies internationally. Even the oil used in the machines is a homemade product. This integration allows Citizen Group to support the highest standard of quality, able to quickly detect problems and defects on assembly lines. At regular intervals, an alarm sounds and components are discarded down a separate track. The OS21 is a typical two-hand caliber with date of the month at the 6 o'clock location. There is no second hand or sub-second dial. Chronograph Timer utilizes the large second hand with 60 minute counter at the 9 o'clock location. The OS21 also features a 24 hour sub-dial indicator at the 3 o'clock location which is directly tied to the current watch time. The OS21 uses the SR927 silver oxide battery and supports a hacking feature for extended battery life. Typical battery life is estimated at approximately 5 years fully engaged, with up to 10 years with hacking feature enabled. Accuracy of the movement is quite good, maintaining plus or minus 20 seconds per month at normal operating ambient temperature. Alright, so now that you've seen the uh, movement video, uh, you can see, <clears throat> and by the way, when I open this up, I did go ahead and clean the crystal a little bit more, I don't know if you can tell a difference. Um, I don't know if I can make it as awesome as the, you know, where it in the video in the beginning where it's like whoa look at the cool graphics because i actually think that this was one of the watches that they showed in the in the video uh the promo video which is such a great video i mean i i, I have to admit I, i'm a big fan of that video and i love the history of ingersoll it's partly what draws me to this watch brand uh in particular um you know i could go on talking about how awesome this watch is and that's what exactly what i'll do so 5 ATM. Um, you can see the watch has a sort of interesting uh, two-piece case design. Uh, it's just like the Michigan that I advertised earlier, and I'll put the Michigan one right up there. But uh, 5 ATM, you can do some some basic swimming. Uh, you can't. I don't think you can go. You cannot go snorkeling, um, but you can swim with it. You can also um, do the dishes, wash your hands. Uh, take a shower with it i mean it's got a very nice leather watch uh watch strap so probably wouldn't do that of course but as i always say if you get thrown in a pool during a party you won't ruin your watch um one of the things you'll you'll uh realize too about uh and i think i talked about it in the the movement video uh because there is no full-time second hand which of course you could always just have the chronograph growing 24 7 uh and that would be fine 
but because there's no second hand in particular, it saves a ton of power. So it's almost as if you had the hacking feature installed. Like, I, I, what was it? I think it said that battery life typically lasts about four to five years. I mean, that's incredible. Um, you know, if you actually had it in storage in normal uh, household temperature, it probably lasts six years without you doing anything. It does have a hacking feature. Of course, you can pull it out and leave it like that and it will last um, 10 years. So that's that's spectacular. Uh, this particular brand, uh, I'm sorry, this particular make of the Ingersoll, they offer it in several different designs. They have one that comes with a, um, a very nice strap that is a solid links. Uh, they have a few others that have different designs. I'll put them all up here so you can see them. I'll try and cycle through them. But there are many, many nice uh, Ingersoll uh, Grafton's and again if you haven't seen it the number down here the 100602 represents the make and model but it also represents the color uh, combination as well so I believe the 100603 might be sort of a dark face uh, or uh, maybe it means it comes with a, a steel strap but uh, spectacular watch and this watch is not ridiculously sized either. It's actually a very reasonable size. Um, I did talk about it has a slightly domed crystal, which is fantastic. It is a uh, hardened mineral crystal with a three layer coating of sapphire. So it is gonna be far more uh, resistant than your typical uh, mineral crystal. It's, uh, it's very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and take some measurements too because I wanna get that out of the way before I do a loom shot, but... Uh, very nicely appointed. And again, these are typically going for under $100, uh, about $100 for nice ones. Let's see, 42 millimeters, so that's not excessive. Uh, I don't think anybody would reasonably say that that was uh, excessive. 20 millimeter lug, which is quite nice. Uh, depth is a bit big, but you know, that's the style. It's 15 millimeters uh, depth. So it's a very reasonably proportioned watch for somebody that wants something that has some presence, but not ridiculous. Um, I I really like this watch and this kills me because how, how am I gonna keep like 15 Ingersolls? I mean, I can't, right? I have to keep like, I mean, what do I, oh man. You know, I just wish I could keep them all, but I can't. All right, let's do some loom shots. And then I'll do jello shots after. Oh, pause. I can't find my flashlight. All right, so not, not too bad. Obviously, there's no second hand, but you see the 24-hour marker and the hour and sorry i had to pause it because my flashlight was in a whole other room <laughs> yeah i mean there's not much else to say there's not much else to say about this watch it's a it's a very nice watch uh, i really like it i'd love to keep this one but i mean i have so many i'm gonna have to sell this one uh, but i love the color combination uh, if you have any questions about this watch please leave it in the comments below if you um want any particular watch that you'd like for me to review please leave that in the comments below as well uh, and i really appreciate it if you subscribe um, this will be the last video i do before the holidays so um but i have four scheduled that will go throughout the holidays but i just won't actually be there i did them ahead of time before this one so um, hope you enjoy them all right thank you very much